back to the Android manifest here. Okay, and I'm going to remove this intent filter from the main activity. Okay, let me delete this activity as well and close this here. And now I will go to here into the active login activity because I want login screen to be displayed to the user when they open our application. So I'm making this login as the activity launcher. So I can run this application now. Okay, and now the you can see email address and password and the login field is displayed here. So if I close this application, let me close this and open again. You can see we are at the login screen and there is some design issues that I need to fix first. So let's go to the login and make it wrap content, I guess. Okay, so this is the login screen as you can see now. Uh, but we want to create the account, right? We have not implemented this login screen yet. So if I click on create account, it's not going to do anything. So let me go to the login here and uh, here you can see we have this go to register field. So I'm going to add the on click listener dot set on click listener new on click listener and I'm going to start new activity that is register activity. Okay. So new intent. Okay. And now I'm going to run this again and we should be able to go to the register activity from our login activity. Okay. We are at the login screen and now if I click on create account, we are at the, you can see in the create account activity, but you can see it is automatically triggering all this full name and email address and it, it is displaying the errors. You can see that is because here I have made some uh, mistake here. Okay. So all these things check field and everything I want to be executed when the user click on uh, create account right so first I need to add the on click listener in register button okay let's set on click listener new on click listener because we are only going to trigger uh, you know account registration process if the user fill the data and click on create account right so this makes sense so I'm going to paste that whole thing here inside this register button. Okay. And uh, we also want to go to be able, we also want to be able to go to the login screen. So I'm going to say the same thing just after this here, set on click listener, new on click listener and start the new activity, new intent. Get application context and login.class so that user will be able to go back to the login screen okay now let me run this again and now we should be able to fix that problem okay let's go to the create account all right now you can see it is not triggering any error here and we can continue creating a new account so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to create the new account so let me add the information that we need so let me give the full name, email address and password. Make sure you give the six digit password because it is not going to take any uh, less than that. Okay. For now, I have not implemented this checkbox. So we don't need to worry about that. So now I'll click on create account. And one side on that, it says account is created. And now I'm at the dashboard. Okay. And now we can confirm that by going to the this cloud file store or before that I'm going to go here into authentication and show you guys that account is created. Okay. This account is created from the email that I've given. And as I said, it's going to give the unique ID to the user that is UID. Now based on this UID, the data is stored in the fire store. So let's go to the fire store here. And uh, now we have the user collection you can see, and this is the same ID that we have I, I showed you in the authentication section right and now we have this information and we also have this one more user field that is is user is one that means this particular user is a normal user okay and if you want to make this user as an admin all you have to do is just change or delete add one more field here okay. and if you want to make this field admin or if you want to make this particular user admin then all you have to do is delete this particular field okay 
and add one more field here called is admin and make this one and our program will understand that we have one admin in our list okay and this particular user should be able to perform the different kind of apps actions now uh, since we have you know connected the user created the account and we also have these flags and everything now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to uh, check when the user login if that particular user is logged in or not uh, if that particular user is admin or the normal user so let's go and implement the login screen now obviously we need to implement that in the login here so let me check this only when the user click on login button so set on click listener now inside this i'm going to check that and if the data is valid we'll go ahead and perform the login active uh, login things okay so before we let any user log into our application we need to make sure that another user is not logged in right so to make sure that i'm going to override the on start method here sorry not on stop on start and inside this i'm gonna check if any user is already logged in or not because firebase will our application will remember the user name and password of the user and automatically log in them in our application if they have logged in previously in our application so firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user is not equals to null that means somebody is already here or somebody has already logged into our application and we'll just send them to the main activity so we'll create the new intent get application context and send them to the main activity right simple and we'll just finish this okay so if user is not logged in that means we need to take the username and password from the user and log in log them into our application so here let's uh, create the firebase auth okay f auth and we also need firebase fire store because we need to check if the user is admin or not so and that info is saved in our fire store account or fire store database right so here i can use okay i need to initialize that first here so let me do that f auth firebase auth dot get instance app store fire store dot get instance okay and now here i'm just going to log in the user based on the email and password they have provided so f auth dot sign in user with email and password this is the method provided by the firebase authentication module and here it also take the two parameters one is email so i'm going to extract the text so get text dot convert that to the string similarly for the password and now here we'll add the event listener so if the user is successfully logged in that means the username and email email and password they have given is correct we will send them to the any activity based on the user access level so if the user is admin we will send them to the admin activity if you have multiple activities then we will send them to the uh, email active uh, admin activity or admin dashboard if the user is normal user then we will send them to the uh, normal main activity so let me for the okay just for the example i am just going to create one more uh, activity here blank activity okay for the admin so let me create the empty activity give the name as admin activity okay admin and this admin activity is only accessible to those user who is a admin okay so now in the login we will check and 
we will check and redirect the user to the particular uh, activity here all right so here if the login is successful so let me create the toast logged in successfully okay and now here what I'm gonna do is check if admin I'm gonna create one more method that will uh, take the user ID user ID as a parameter so let me create this now or you know instead of uh, saying if admin I'm just going to check level okay so yeah that is more appropriate let me create that in the login okay now here I'm going to create the document reference as I already told you we need document reference to extract the data or store the data into the file store so df I'm gonna use the file store instance that we have collections is users make sure that you give the users correctly and we're gonna get the document that is document and here we need to identify the document by the ID okay and now we need to extract the data from the document so and if you remember this UID user ID document contains the information of the users that is full name phone number email and this particular flag that we are interested in so let's go back here and get that so df dot get and here now we can add the uncomplete listener or unsuccess listener based on your choice so I'm gonna go with the uncomplete listener or maybe unsuccess listener let's just do it okay 